In this video, I am going to show you how to calculate the age of a person based on the date of birth. So let's say if you put a new entry of Fred who is born on 15th August 1971, the age is automatically shown as 50 years and 1 month. Let's see how to do this. Here are some list of names and the respective date of births in date, month and year format. That is DD, MM, YY. Before we start, I'd like to convert this range into a table. So let's click anywhere within the table and in the home tab, we have the option format as table. Let's pick this. It automatically selects our range and our table as headers. So say, okay. Now to calculate the age in years and months, we will do it stepwise. First, we'll calculate the age in years. Then we'll calculate the age in months. And after that, we will calculate the age in years and months. The formula we are going to use to calculate the age in years is called dated if. So you go to cell D6 and type in the formula equal to dated if of, you need to first start with the start date which is going to be the date of birth and then the next entry is going to be the end date and let's pick that as today so we can get the accurate age followed by we need to put the unit and in this case we want the answer in years that's it so just close the brackets here and there you get the age of each member in years Similarly, if you want to get the age in months, is the same formula. So again, you go to cell E6 and type in the formula equal to dated if of the start date is going to be our date of birth. The end date is going to be today and the unit is going to be months. There, you get the age in months. So Rob is 45 years old or he's 551 months old. Note that the age in years rounds only up to the year and does not show the months. To get the accurate age in years and months, we will use both these data points. So it's going to be equal to, since we know the age in years, we are just going to get this data and concatenate it with years. And now we need to find the remaining months. That can be done by subtracting the total age in months with the number of months in 45 years for Rob's case, which is going to be 45 multiplied by 12. Now, in this age with year and months column, after we display the age in years, we are going to get the remaining months. So that is going to be done by opening the brackets here, subtracting the age in months that's minus the age in years times 12. So I close this calculation and in the end put the month. There you go. We now have the age of Rob, Kathy, Daisy and Steven in years and months. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.